four minutes past the hour of 3 p.m. Central African time, and you have just tuned into the best online radio station in the country right now. That is Wow FM for the youth and also by the youth. So I'm starting the show on a very, very, very high note. One. So I have DJ Melzi in the building. How are you, my brother? Well, I'm good. And you make it? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So, Jobo, now some people want to use Melzi and Jobo. So I come find a lot of things that come gaming, but they don't fully know you. So, so before we get into the interview, you could put a little more about DJ Melzi. So um, yeah, I'm a little I grew up in Pretoria North. Go chat in Nina Park, and yeah, um, I'm a young boy. And actually, I love music. I started mixing when I was still like six. So I'm a top music girl. Yeah, so that's me in a nutshell. That's insane. Six years old. And how old are you now? I'm 19 now. You are you 19 years old. Yeah. I'm older than you, but you do him so much better than me. I don't know. look up to you, and you're only 19 years old. Yeah. We do not know how much you have to do with So when I see you drop the new album, and so so tell me more about that. How you didn't see the new spending the money, and how was it? The whole experience of doing the whole album. Um, the experience was amazing. Um, recreational. Um, yeah, there were a lot of uh, supporting instructions, namely one of them, MKZ, is here in the studio also. Um, so, yeah, the process of the album was actually amazing, you know. I got to learn myself, discover myself, um, learn who I am in music, you know, not just as a person, you know. I feel like there's a character in music as well that you need to configure. So I think I was able to learn myself, find myself, find my sound and actually stick to it, you know. Because I believe, um, in the making of the album, I believe that it was important that I stick to my unique and different sound because yes. I do believe my sound is um, different and I think that's what people love about it so I think that's where the way to go and that's how I went about it. Yeah, that's very cool. So what was the hardest part? How we learn about game? What was the most challenging thing you had to face while creating album? The, the most challenging thing I would say is that um, what we do actually in the industry, the mistake we do, mm -hmm. maybe I think other uh, producers uh, encounter before, when I went into the studio, actually, now that, um, before when I went into the studio, I was nobody, you know? Mm -hmm. Now when I went into the studio, I was Melzi. And I said, that was a hard thing because when I'm making a song now, I'm thinking, by Ege, you know? Like yeah, Melzi at the yeah, back of my yeah. mind, you know? I'm thinking, Ish, I have that pressure, you know? Yeah. And it's not coming from anyone else, you know? It's that pressure that's coming from within that I set the bar here and I have to beat it now. Yeah, that's the I feel like that's a hard thing, but... Um, I feel like now I've learned something. If you just go in as you and you go in pure and you go in as now I go in as Tumelo now, I no more go in as Melzi, you know. Mm -hmm. So because then I get to Melo and then yeah, I think I can discover myself and actually create more sound. But the mistake I did it took me a lot of months to actually start making proper songs again. Because of I would have this uh, so much pressure sleeping at 8 o'clock in the morning, yeah. wanting to create something, and I forget that music is art, you can't create something twice, you know, you can only create another master painting. Yeah, that's very, very, very true. So I want to know, who has been the biggest highlight so far working like an artist? Which, which artist have you worked with that is your biggest highlight so far? Um, biggest, I would say, maybe one of um, the things I would say it's an achievement is maybe um, your likes of Casper. But um, highlights, um, we have your talents like um, MFR Souls, which are two um, musical giants, actually. And I, I love Deep House, you know, so I used to listen to, uh, to their music growing up, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I, re I actually remember that I used to listen to these people, you know. I love their musical style and as the one of the people I could actually work with and they actually... I want to cause the game, like they so they down they, to earth. they down to earth. They open to listen to what you're doing, you know. And it's hard to find that in the studio because that's the now working, no, especially when you're big. Yeah. Ken na ma, we na ba na ma. Fanu munya. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. We have that thing that besides undermining each other, but you already have that thing. I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You also know what you're doing, but we won't do the same thing. That's the thing. So collaborating is actually hard. At, uh, what I've, I thought collaborating was easy. Like, I used to think the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a giant, you know, then, then, yeah. it doesn't work like that. You both need to humble yourselves. You both need to find a common ground and do something. So I think um, MFR also was one of the greatest experiences in terms of working with them. So, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. so what can you expect in the remaining of uh, 2021? So what can you expect? Um, I think we need to capitalize on that 2-3 months. Not monetary, but in terms of growth, in terms of stability as an artist, um, I think there's a lot of growth that can be done, you know. 
Mm -hmm. um, what I've learned is that I think what most artists um, have learned is that you can't rely on things like your gigs only to interact with your fans. You need to find new ways, you know. And um, that used to be hard for me as a person because. I struggle, I'm, I'm less shy with a few people, mm -hmm. but believe it or not, when it's like 500 people stand in front of me, got oh, you yeah, understand? Yeah, Till yeah. today, you know, I shake, I still shake, by the time I play my first song, mm -hmm. I'm still shaking until I see a few people moving, then I calm down, yeah, yeah. you know? So I think, yeah, I think we need to learn how to um, interact with people. The last three months, we need to go out there, we need to rock, whether it's physically, whether it's digitally, whether it's socially, in every way possible. I think that's... That's what I'm planning to do in the last three months to get to know people, for people to get to know me as well. Yeah, I see you can look down on no one. So then a lot of artists do what I was all because many artists, as you said, we shouldn't learn gigs, but a lot of them now they're to the gigging on so yes. how were you coping or how 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 did you keep calm or how did you keep yourself going? Because not a lot of money was coming in on so I don't say to kill it. Well and I think that that's where the focus went wrong. You know, I used um not to be insensitive, um of all the uh, life lo uh, lives lost um, due to COVID, but I use it as a time to be recreational, actually. I feel like I got my most of my growth because of it, mm. because I want to have had the time. Next year is school, I'm still studying. So next year is Gela, I'm at home, you know? I'm at home, I use that time, you know? I would sit with Bo and Kiss, Boom for 69, for three months, locked down in the studio. I was like 80, I was like 12, 4. One can on Rabu happy four in the in the afternoon, return us to doing happy the next day in the morning, every day for months, you know. So I feel like um a lot of songs went put out there, but a lot of skills were created, a lot of skills were developed in that time. So I think um lockdown is one of the best things that have ha ever happened to me because I've I've actually learned how to use it to my advantage, you know. I looked at the pros of it and not the cons. So I think it contributed a lot to my growth because I wouldn't have I wouldn't have had that time to actually master my skill, learn who I am, learn my own sound. You know, I think I would have just followed through with the normal uh, I'm a piano sound we have. Mm -hmm. But then I think that time allowed me to learn how to be different and do my things differently. Yeah. yeah so I don't even know that. You know, how do you, how do you juggle school and all these gigs? Cause you are gigging big time. So juggle around school only. Cause being a varsity student is hard. It's hard, you know. Um, recently, I, I started um, doing online. It was contact before. It was worse. Um, it was actually a bit worse this year, you know, because no let hata. Kya skolo, you know, last day, gile gilu to me. You know, I give a last gila. Gile gilu to me. Gile gilu to me. It was hard because I'm sitting in class and people are staring at me, you know. So it was hard, you know. You find a lecture saying, hey, can I take a photo after? No. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was, a, bit, it was, a, it was a bit tricky, but... Um, I learned how to be comfortable with it, you know, I just started studying at home. I think it's just a matter of prioritizing what you want, you know. Mm -hmm. I think whatever you want to do, whether it's school, whether it's work, anything, whether it's football, whether it's anything, sports, um, art, you can do it. I think it's just a matter of knowing your priorities and knowing what you want. So, you know, what's a question? You don't put it in So, you know, hey, lecture, how it emails are the food. How it called a gigging, that's your assignment, then off a 10 marks, it drew up. Um, you said a gigging, what do they do that? Has it ever happened? Um, I would say that I've um, encountered instances where they want to do that, but um, I believe I get a rocky motor, I get a Oh, yeah. So, I'm a very fair person when it comes to myself. I can cheat, I can do whatever, but um, you know, some things like education, knowledge, is things you can't buy. Oh, 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 oh,